Hi everyone, Ryan the Stranger. Today's Monday word, and my Monday word is don't discount angelic assistance. Recently, I was in a time of, uh, of prayer and just seeking the Father, and I was just diving into Psalms 91. I love that passage of Scripture, and I've, I've read it so many times, but God began to just reveal freshness to me from Psalms 91, and I began to see that as we dwell close to the Father, as that proximity is maintained, it unlocks power, it unlocks protection, it unlocks divine guidance and divine leading, and all of a sudden, I get down in Psalms 91 to verse 11, And verse 11 just shoots off the page at me. It says this, He shall give his angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. It's like the Lord begins a spotlight to me that we are coming into, I believe, a time of real supernatural, uh, that I call the era of the supernatural, that God wants to reveal himself to us in powerful ways, that it's a time of tremendous miracles. It's a time of redigging those miracle wells. And, And we don't need to discount angelic assistance Assistance. You know, all throughout the Bible, there are stories of, of messages being conveyed by angels. There are stories of the warring angels, of the ministering angels. And I know that the Bible, it warns us uh, not to worship angels. We worship the Father. We worship Yahweh. We worship Jesus. Uh, we worship Yeshua. Uh, we, we understand that. But yet part of the kingdom of God is the realm of angels. And there are supernatural commissions and assignments of angels. There are breakthroughs in your life that angels are on assignment to bring in. And you've got to recognize that angelic assistance. Many believers are missing certain realms and certain breakthroughs because they're not recognizing that angelic assistance. I have been in meetings recently where it was apparent that something supernatural happened. And and as we began to press into prayer to discern what's happening, we recognize the presence of angels. We didn't worship those angels. We worship Jesus. But we received what those angels were on assignment to bring to us. You know, I believe that in these days, the the devil's ramping up his plans, but God's already got you and I covered. And one of his protective forces is angelic assistance. That's what he was saying here in Psalms 91. I believe we need to come into an increased awareness of angelic activity because this is the era of the supernatural. Now, I want to read you a verse from Hebrews 1 in the Amplified. Uh, It says this in Hebrews 1, 14. Are not the angels all ministering spirits? Servants sent out in the service of God for the assistance of those who are to inherit salvation. So angels are sent on assignment to you and I, the believers. Angels protecting us. Angels bringing messages from the heavenly realms to us. Angels going and clearing out the way for us. So we need to understand there's angelic assistance for us, not to discount this angelic assistance. You know, I had a peculiar thing happen. I was in a meeting, and all of a sudden, in one section of the room, just one little section, people just begin to laugh and laugh and laugh. And I'm looking at this saying, oh man, the Holy Spirit's really breaking out. And all of a sudden, I have a vision. I see this angel just releasing oil of joy on these people. And I, as I spoke, what I saw, it increased, but it stayed in that one little area. And I believe the Lord was teaching me that the, 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 the angels are on assignment there to assist us. Now, again, I understand that we're not supposed to worship angels, but you know, the Bible tell, warns us about many things. If, if For example, if the Bible tells us if, if we just pray in tongues all the time and we don't pray in English, we're going to miss something. Why? Because there are realms of decree in English that birth certain things in the spirit. You know, anything we can get out of bounds with. If we just worship and we never read the word of God, we'll get out of bounds. And so many times people focus and emphasize the potential to get out of bounds that they miss the promise. There is a promise of angelic assistance. And my prayer today is that your eyes are open, that you discern and understand the ministering spirits being sent on assignment to your life to bring breakthrough, to bring blessing, to bring heavenly messages, to bring uh, heavenly realms into your everyday life. Father, open up our eyes to get to receive the angelic assistance that's been provided for us. And I thank you, Lord, today for those angelic assistance breakthroughs coming to our lives in Jesus' name.